Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaiah here from the Automator, and um, Isaiah's just, uh, he said like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find something, and he mentioned it to me, and I'm like, oh my god, I, I got you covered here, man. So, in word, explain what you were trying to do. Right. So I was typing something here, notepad, and then file, open, and then, as you're noticing, I'm typing some single quotes, right? Now this, I said, let me test it before anything. So I copied this, put it here in auto hotkey. I noticed that the yeah. quotes are not the single quotes any longer. And I'm like, that's weird. Let me test that anyways. But then you will get an error and you will get some, you know, uh, ASCII or, well, this is the Unicode characters not being displayed properly. So yeah, we got some Unicode characters there, which is annoying. And I'm like, yeah, can you disable the smart quotes? Because they're not so smart anyways. <laughs> I was going to say, they're actually dumb quotes is how I refer to them. I, I, I've literally been used, doing writing this for like 20 years, right? right. Totally nuts. So and I was telling Isaiah, now go to file. This is the crazy part. This is what I want to show you. Is go to file and go to options. Right. And then that. go to auto correct proofing. It's Sorry, is that the proofing first? Yeah. Then auto correct options. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Now here, you'll see in this list, someone oh, here. Um, here are the quotes. Oh, no, so but don't worry about those. Oh. Um, no, go to auto format at the top. Oh. Now here, you're going to see straight quotes versus smart quotes. Okay. Now you're oh. going to say, hey, I'm done, right? No, you're no. freaking not. Okay. <laughs> now go to the auto format as you type. And they have them there as well. And that's oh, the aha. Uh -huh, that's the that I'm like, what in the, you know, freaking so, heck? So there's a few. Of, so as you type is one thing. And if I paste something, then this one comes in. Oh, well, the auto, well, which one? What? I just got lost. Format as you type and the auto correct, I guess. Right. No, no, it's not the auto correct. Auto format. Auto, auto format. format. Okay. So auto format and auto format as you type. This one would be if you paste something, I would assume then. Yeah, it's Okay, this is annoying, right? But yeah, I, I see how you might. So I would have gone here, I right. remove it, and then I would be like, yeah, I, I'm sure I removed that. Why is it doing it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's... now I can use the normal ones. Okay, yeah. that's better. And if I need the other ones, I would use them. Uh, how do I say? Um, the Unicode characters for that. Oh. Thank you very much. That saves me a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. It's, it's stupid, but I I used to um, what was program? It was an SPSS or were, but I'd bring in an auto hotkey, and it was so because I was doing exactly what you're doing. I'm like, well, let me go test it, and then it would break. And and if you put anything on on WordPress, and it would always put in the smart quotes, and I'm like, I yeah, love a god, like I don't want it. yeah smart quotes. So yeah, um. The other one, if by the way, I'm just going to mention it. Well, link to the video here is if you go, if you every time you open a Word doc, and this also, by the way, applies. Uh, you have to do that once, and it'll work. And I believe Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and possibly Outlook. Um, it, it goes everywhere. Those they did finally. I used to have to do that individually on each program, like they were all separate. It was really annoying. But um, there is also the if you open a file you got from the internet. It has that, hey, are you sure you want to trust this file? Yes. And in the video, which we'll put the link up here, we showed how, if you like, you can basically safeguard, tell it, hey, anything in this folder, don't do that. Yeah, check. like do, do the parent folder, right? Anything inside this folder. Right. Right? Just trust it implicitly. And then you do it once and it works for, you know, so trusted folders work across Microsoft products is what you're saying. Yes. yes. Well, also, right. But it's, it's great because if you've ever... Open the file and then go to edit it, and you click and click and click, and then you realize up top there's that little bar that says "click this to edit." You're like, "What?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's it's I forget what it's called. There's a flag that gets applied when you download a file from the internet, right? And if that file you download is put into one of these folders that you say everything in this folder is okay, it will no longer have that check. Yeah. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed that. Like the video if you learned something. Remember, we're the largest auto hockey channel out there. We release videos twice a week, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Cheers.